Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Petey Prowlock. Newcastle got beat 2-0 off Spurs today. I'm sorry I've got the beginning thingy of me video and the end as well because I'm using a new laptop and I'm videoing off me tablet as well and apparently Windows Movie Maker, since I've tried to download it, is making us pay for it. But we got beat 2-0 off Spurs and I'm livid. Not just because of the team's performance. I'm just livid because of one person, John Joe Shelby. He had to go get sent off right early into the second half of the game for stab putting his leg or his boot sorry on Deli Ali's leg or ankle. He studs going in on it. That is bloody dangerous that like. If that had been a stamp, God almighty. But he did it right in front of the referee, Andre Mariner. I can't believe he did that. You might get a lot of people saying, oh, Deli Ali's reaction was stupid and all that. He went way over the top with it. Yeah, okay, he might have done that, but you can't do stuff with that. Using studs on an opponent is dangerous. It's absolutely dangerous. You're lucky Deli Ali probably hasn't got a broken leg or a massive gash at that rate because, Jesus Christ, studs can do a lot of damage at this rate. And you've cost us the day, Shelby lad. I can't believe you've done that. Can I fault the team's performance? Maybe not really. Were Spurs brilliant? I wouldn't say they were brilliant. Had a few, probably the most chances throughout the game. But they weren't like really testing in the first half, is what I thought. Okay, Eriksen had a shot, which was wide. And um, he caught a decent sh shot as well there, Rob Elliott. But the one he started probably to get a bit more better was more in the second half of the game, I thought. But I don't think there were spectacular spares. Okay, I've had got a few injuries. He had Moussa Sissoko starting the day. He went and clattered Elliot, and he got nothing for that. And the, apparently the fans were arranging for that as well. But John Joe Shelby, you should know better than to do stuff like that. We used to criticise Mitrovic for being a liability and doing stuff like that. And you are older than him as well. And I can't believe you've lost your cool for that. You've did it right in front of the referee. You've been spotted for it. You've cost with the game the day. I can't believe you've done that. I'm going to be... I can't wait to watch True Geordie's football hangover. Or if he does a video of this, he puts out um, twat of the match on his video. Or wanker of the week as well. So, but... <sighs> what were you thinking of there? We had a good chance. Probably Gale should have done better with that. He had a good chance where the ball came over to him. He like took it on his left foot and he blazed it over the ball. As well. So, and as I said, chances created through Spurs. Eriksen had a shot which went wide. And um, he had a, a chance as well. Eriksen again, which was called by Rob Elliott. But Newcastle looked event pretty well in defence. I thought a lot of the time Shane had to lose... Um, uh, Paul Dummett, so you had to bring Lascelles, it means you had to put Clark at left back, and we lost Flo Florian Lejeune when you sent her back. He looked pretty, I thought he was going to look pretty solid. Shame he had to go off injured. Now, a lot of people think that Harry Kane should have been sent off for that, for the follow through he went through on the tackle, but I don't know. We'll have to see what opinions were thought on that as well, but Shelby. Red card, 100% deserved. Should know better than to do stuff like that. He was given the captaincy armband the day. That was not being a captain the day. That was just being absolutely stupid. Being a pillock. Being a dickhead as well. I can't believe he lost his cool for that. Hey, my word. So Spurs get the goal in the second half after Shelby gets red carded in the 50th minute. Ball comes over into Deli Alley. Tucks it away. Nicely. Okay, fair enough. But Spurs, actually, just before that, had a chance for Harry Kane. Elliot made himself look big. I didn't think Elliot did anything wrong throughout the game as well. It was just Shelby being stupid. Oh, I can't believe he did that. He's... I'm not seeing get rid of him when he comes back from suspension. Keep your cool, for crying out loud. I can't believe he fucking did that. I know I'm talking about a lot of the time, but God almighty, a lot of fans will be raging about that today as well. So, 
And then they get the second goal, Spurs. A ball into Ben Davis. He tucks it away nicely as well. Clark had a, probably a decent chance, which was a good catch uh, by Loris. But I thought Chris, there was a few players who did well. I thought Christian Atsu did pretty well the day. But defence was all right. It was... I thought we were pretty solid in defence, but the thing that's just got us angry is Shelby's red card. A lot of pun Sky pundits will be saying, disgusting for what he did there. Should know better. He's been one of our key players a lot of the time, especially when we win the championship. And when he got his five-game suspension when we win the championship, the cr lack of creativity happened as well. So, But it said Marino looked okay when he came on as well can he step in or are we gonna to have to go in the transfer market and look for a, another creative midfielder because he's going to be banned newcastle they'll not appeal it well if they do appeal it they'll be stupid enough to appeal it because that will be an automatic rejection from the fa because it's just the way if you use studs on an opponent dangerous absolutely dangerous and I can't, I'm sorry I'm talking about Shelby's red card, but I'm absolutely, I'm just livid with it. I can't believe he did that. If he stayed on the pitch, we could have got a draw maybe. I would have been absolutely happy with that. Point of the season, getting back to the Premier League. But Shelby, you, you prick for costing us the game of the day. That's all I've got to say. Let me know what you think. Was it a 100% red card? I think you're going to see, yes, 100% red card. Should Harry Kane been sent off for the challenge on Lejeune? Let me know what you think on that as well. Give us a like on the video. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give us a comment on what you thought of the game as well. And I will see you all later. Take care of yourselves. John Joe Shelby, you bell end. You've cost us.